Hi, I'm Debbie Nelson with Nixine Publishing here in the United States. And we're with Adrian Nixon again, coming to us from Yorkshire, England. And we're putting together our series on graphene. Hi, Adrian, how are you doing today? I'm really good, Debbie. It's good to see you again. Good to see you too. Um, we have some interesting topic today, graphene and asphalt. Yeah, it sounds boring, doesn't it? But it's not, it's quite revolutionary. And there's been a lot going on just within the past year. Should we um, give the viewers an, an overview about what's been happening? Oh, definitely. Yeah, let's share the screen. So this started back in April 2019. I think you're familiar with the company behind this, aren't you, Debbie? Director Plus in Italy. Yes, I've been following what they've been doing. Yeah, me too. And last year they, um, they ran a trial um, with a chemical company in Italy called Itachimica. And um, then basically they're mixing graphene into the asphalt, into the road, and they coated one side of the road uh, about a kilometre stretch with uh, graphene enhanced asphalt and the other side of the road was um, uh, normal asphalt and they ran some tests and uh, waited to see what would happen and they found some amazing results it looks like it can double the service life of the road which is <laughs> easy to say but when you think about it it's pretty impressive isn't it? it it's incredibly impressive and and from what i've heard it's supposed to minimize potholes as well right yes that's right yeah you look at the data here we got 35 percent lower uh, rutting values we've got um uh that's at 60 degrees centigrade which in your money i think is 140 fahrenheit um and then we've got the improvements to the service life of the road um so it stops these tracks forming it stops potholes forming it seems to inhibit cracks and then that doesn't seem to just stop there it's it appears to be very very good at managing extremes of heat and cold that seems to be where this stuff's going and as a result of this particular piece of work it's spun off lots more uh, work so um debbie i think you know that there's been some more trials in uh, the uk as well hasn't there yes they've there's something of um there's more in the uk and um i've actually heard that later on this year they're supposed to be doing some trials in this the southern part of the United States. Oh, really? Goodness. Doesn't surprise me. If we click onto the next slide here, this is um, the village of Kerbridge in Oxfordshire in the UK. This is November last year. And um, this is a picture of them actually laying the road here. Uh, so they're taking a 750 meter stretch. Again, one side of the road, graphene asphalt, the other side, normal asphalt. And this is proper scientifically observed trials so the local council uh, which is the way it works in the uk have they have the budget for the highways they are running these trials and you can see here in the picture on the right hand side this is the additive the guy pave additive which is made by director plus and itachimica it's a polymer which goes into the asphalt and then binds everything together so we don't know the results on that one yet that one's going ahead so that was november then in may this year at Rome's Fumicimo Airport, then they've uh, decided to pave the Alpha Alpha taxiway. This is the taxiway where all the really heavy jets land, and they're doing the same thing. They're paving one half of the stretch with graphene asphalt and the other half with ordinary asphalt. And so we've got cars and we've got planes being tested, rolling over this stuff. But this is pretty, pretty impressive so far. Yeah, it really is. And in, in high traffic areas, you know, that with an airplane, I mean, it's going to take the weight. It's going to have to be able to, to withstand it and not have, an, well, you'll know pretty quickly whether or not you're going to have an uneven surface, right? I mean, it, exactly. Yeah. And it's important. I'm glad you reminded me it's heavy traffic area. So you can see down here that um, this PMB, this polymer modified, mod modified bitumen, this is a, a plastic that they put into the roads, uh, into the asphalt, to uh, especially in heavy traffic um, areas, so to make it last longer. And what we think is happening is the graphene is actually going in and modifying and helping that polymer work even better. And there's uh, even just a few weeks ago, uh, July 2020, uh, another trial in Kent this time, this is just south of London um, in the UK, uh, Kent County Council have now done another trial, uh, this time 350 metres, the west side of East Hill in Dartford in the UK. And again, they're doing the same thing. So there's a trial where half the road is paved um, on uh, graphene asphalt and the other half is um, traditional asphalt. And by the way, Debbie, I've not switched the picture around. We, do, we, we really do drive on the other side of the road over here. <laughs> 
So pretty impressive stuff going on, isn't it? It, it really is. And, and um, one of the things that I was thinking about is um, with graphene um, on the bottom of shoes, it makes them more grippy. And I'm wondering if that has something to do with the mm -hmm. asphalt too, if that would help in the gripping, maybe in the tires. You know, against the asphalt, I'm not sure. That's a really good idea. I don't know the answer to that. Um, it might do. I know how, uh, just looking at what seems to have been done so far, we don't know all the details. We haven't seen test results come out of this, so we're sort of guessing a bit. But my guess is that the graphene is going into the polymer and hence a bit of the asphalt, this additive, plastic additive. So it's probably helping the polymer grip the asphalt better um, mm -hmm. and also cope better with expansion and contraction in, cold and heat so you don't get cracks forming with this thermal expansion and contraction but it's a really clever bit of thought whether it actually would increase the grippiness of the road and particularly seeing as we've got trials with graphene going into car tires as well we yeah. might be able to get even more grip and better wear. I, I, I could imagine a bicycle race on a on a road that had the graphene in the pavement and then the graphene on the tires of the bikes and see how, how that would perform. That would be a very interesting combination. Well, we do know that Vittoria are making uh, graphene enhanced tires for all the major winners of all the time trial races um, in Europe. And I think probably going to the States now as well. So yeah, you might be onto something here. Graphene enhanced tire bikes on graphene enhanced roads. I suppose they ought to wear the graphene outfits as well. <laughs> Quite right, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've talked about graphene and textiles yet, have we? Oh, that's a very good point. Yes, we'll note that for a future one. Okay, well, thank you, Adrian, so much for sharing today. Grateful again, as usual, Debbie. Bye-bye.